Right, <clears throat> hello fellow shooting enthusiasts. Welcome back to the, um, the schmupping side of my uh, channel. Uh, today I have for you schmups, schmups and more schmups, I'm glad to say. Uh, most of them are Nintendo Switch and there's a couple of PS4 as well. Um, I, it's a while since I did a shmup video, but um, doesn't mean to say I've been idle. Uh, I've been picking up quite a few. Um, actually, um, this I, I had hoped to do this uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I've been waiting on a, a shipment from Play Asia. Second shipment um, I've had from them. And the first one came in a, just over a week, and this one's taken just over three weeks. So. Um, I had figured on a week again, but that's why I'm a bit late with it. Not to worry. Right, okay, there's um, it's quite a few of them that are sealed, so I'll be doing unboxings as well. So I don't even know what's in them. Hopefully um, there'll be some little booklets or something, uh, something extra. So uh, it'll be a, as big a surprise to me as it is to you. Right, um, without any further ado, we'll get started. Now this is the um, super oh, falling apart already. Is the Super Hydora Collector's Edition. Now this came to me in um, in a roundabout way. Um, the game I bought from my uh, my pen pal, or should I say email pal uh, John, who I met on on eBay uh, some while ago. Bought some stuff off him. And he keeps me supplied with some nice stuff from time to time. And Super High Dora was, was, was one of the games I bought. Um, and then I saw a guy um, had up the, um, the rest of the stuff without the game. So um, I figured, well, I've got the game. I might as well have the rest of it. And it, and it worked out. You know, it worked out about 20 quid less getting it this way than than uh, is being asked for on, on eBay at the minute. So, yeah, I think this came to about 80 quid overall and uh, 100 quid was the was the last one I saw. So let's have a little, um, little look, see what's inside the box. Right. Stick these up here. There's, there's a few bits and pieces in here. Uh, yeah, I think we've got everything. Right now, first up, um, you get this um, this little key ring. I'm gonna actually open this, um, but we might as well have a look, see what's um, see what it's all about. Right, we have. Oh, no idea. <laughs> Absolutely no idea about that one. So we've got a couple of strange little characters there. Um, it says Abbey Light Studio, so that's the people who did the game. So presumably um, it comes... It's a couple of characters from the game. I'm sure I've got everything out. Right, um, first of all and most importantly we have, we have the game. Super High Dora, High Dora. Um, comes with a little, um, little booklet there. And it's actually, I'll, I'll just show you, it's actually got a, actually got a reversible uh, cover if I can get this out. It always gets stuck to the... Yeah, okay, so that's, um, if you wish, you can have that as, um, as your cover. I'm not sure which one I like, but um, I should decide later on. Um, and here you just get a little, um, little mission manual with some artwork and uh, tells you how to get on with the game. Um, different things in the game. So, yeah, nice one. 
you know, the, these um, these these are the sort of games you won't find on on Amazon or anything like that, you know. So I'll just stick that over there, right? You also get um, you also get a soundtrack which I've not opened, and I think I'll just leave that one sealed until I fancy listening to it. And you get a little Hydora sticker. Now this, uh, I haven't opened this yet because um, I don't want to wreck it. Um, yeah, that's, that is um, a little ar ar arcade can that you put together yourself. You can see up there the instructions, you end up with a, a little yeah. mini arcade cabinet which is quite fun. Oops, right. It's on the floor where it can stay. And um then you get a little soft back making off with lots of artwork and uh, facts about the game. So yeah quite nice and you also get this um, mysterious item. I don't know quite what came in there because all the stuff I've got the um, the making of the the soundtrack they don't fit it. So whether or not the game goes in there, it looks a bit um, looks the wrong shape for the game as you can see. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what goes in there, whether it's just a bit of advertising or or what. Um, I don't know. So that is um, that is a Super Idora Collector's Edition. You can see there all the bits and pieces that you get. That's the cabinet. Cabinet made up there. Yeah, so that was a nice one. All right, we'll stick all that out of the way. Righty. Now, from um, from Play Asia, I think I've got four games, so I've had two shipments. <coughs> um, I mean, I don't know if you have used Play Asia, but um, um, you know, the, some of their games are quite reasonable, actually. Um, the only thing is, um, you've got um, you got a twenty percent um, tax to pay. Um, but then there's no more charges, you know, you don't get any of these horrible letters uh, saying you owe us another 30 quid for uh, for handling or what have you from, uh, from parcel force or something, you know. Um, so, yeah, you've got, to, you've got to factor that extra 20% in. But uh, at the moment, they've got, um, they've got a free a free postage um, deal. If you spend over, I think it's 83 quid, you get free postage, so... Excuse me, that's not so bad. Right, the first one I got from them was a very recent addition to the M2 Shot Triggers series, all of which are very nice. Um, now with this, you get um, a couple of little, little cards. I think they're cards, and they might be stickers, I'm not sure. Not look that closely at them. But yeah, three little, little cards. I can't remember. I think John might have sent me this. These. I don't remember getting them myself. He might have got it as a pre-order um, bonus, which of course I didn't do. <coughs> but um, well, yeah, we'll stick them over there. Right. Um, let's say that's uh, zero wing. A lot of you might remember that, particularly from the. Um, from the Mega Drive, perhaps, so it came out for the um, PC Engine CD um, Turbo Duo, whatever you want to call it, um, which is the the version that I have already. But um, as a Switch collector, it's a it's a nice one to have. <laughs> no trouble getting the other wrapper off, but we made it. Yeah. So there we go. Let's see what's inside of there. There's um, a code on there, so I don't suppose it'll be any use, seeing as though it's a, 
a Japanese version, but anyway, let's see. Let's see inside with something about the stages in Japanese, and then you have, um, I presume that's something to do with the controls. We have playing guide, it's, a, it's up there. And it's funny how, how are these Japanese games, you get something in English, and then the rest of it in Japanese. And then you get a very nice piece of artwork there. So presumably you can use that as a reverse. Well, actually, I like that. I, uh, I prefer that by far to the, um, the cover as is. So I might be switching that around. Uh, we'll stick that code back in there. As I say, with these, you need a Japanese account, I think, to use these, use these codes. So... Right now, this is the this is the last <coughs> shot triggers game that I needed, Tiger Heli. So I've got them all now. Um, and it's another another buy from PlayAsia. I have a little looky at the right side of the knife. Looky, see what's inside. Okay. Ah, same, <laughs> same setup. Uh, let's take about to show the artwork. Right. So. That's um. I think that's more the. <clears throat> picture I've seen in the adverts for it, I'm not sure, but um, it's very, very similar to that one. Nice bit of artwork nevertheless, <clears throat> but you get the same, the same little guide in there and also the code, which I'll keep to myself just in case. I remember I showed um, I showed a <coughs> collector's edition for uh, Destiny, the game Destiny, which I play a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. And I accidentally showed a code and I realised it went straight to the computer to uh, redeem it and somebody had already pinched it. So <coughs> that was great. Um, <coughs> I'm going to take a drink to get rid of this <coughs> cough I have. Right, and then another one I got from PlayAsia was the, um, the Telenet Shooting Collection. Um, got Gaiaris on it there. Um, Avenger, which I remember from the uh, PC Engine CD Psychic Storm, which I remember. And then... Well, I can't see properly because it's so small, but that's the, that's the games in there. I just thought it was uh, was an interesting one. It's not one you're likely to see um, around too often. But these, these are the sort of games that, um, you know, you really need to go to play Asia for. And as I say, the prices, uh, prices are not that bad. So, yeah, turning that shooting collection. Japanese, as you can see at the bottom there. And what do we have inside? Ah. <laughs> These are the sort of boring insides that you get on English games or, or European, <coughs> UK games. Uh, so, yeah, that's not very inspiring, but um, I'm not going to be looking in there too often anyway, so doesn't really matter. Right, now, here's the one I got off eBay at a very reasonable price. It's an American edition, as you can see. Dan Maku Unlimited 3. Came in this um, very posh little, little 
little plastic box which I know is just going to give me grief when I try to open it, but never mind. Oh, there we are. Right, Let's see if we can get the game actually out of it because it's, it's rather tight. Yep, there we go. Stick that over there. Right, so that one's already open. Now this is one of the very few limited run games that I've got because they tend to be... Um, be rather expensive prohibitively prohibitively so <coughs> some of them as far as I'm concerned but that is um, limited run number 24 so it's quite an earlier one I, I know a lot of the limited games um, the uh, the limited run games are are limited in quantities that they print it doesn't say anything on there so and inside we have right now it's not very interesting inside but I got um, got a trading card with it and now I'm collecting these for all the shooters from limited run as I say I haven't got many games but I've bought a few of these online for games I don't have and you know some of these go you know you can pay like nine, ten quid for just a single one. I mean, I bought a couple for a fiver each, and that was quite cheap, um, comparatively. So yeah, you get this little, um, little book with it. A few screenshots and what have you. Um, you know, it's not nothing to be too excited about, but at least it's. Um, it's an extra bit better than having an empty box like the last one I showed. So, yep, I was, I was more pleased about the trading card. So, then Mako Unlimited 3. Right, it is an interesting one. Um, I've seen this one around too often. It's another one that I got from John. Um, Space Moth and. Space, Space Moth Lunar Edition and Star Hunter DX. And this is from Strictly Limited, or you know, a different company as you probably realise. And that is um, that is actually number two fifty four out of a print run of two thousand. So not too many of those around. And inside you just get um, just get the basics. However, you do get that with it, a little postcard, and you do get this with it, which I'll try and show you when we get back far enough. There you So that's quite nice. Um, just a nice little, uh, nice little extra if I can figure out how it goes back together. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, both of these are too wide to fit in the box. So, um, yeah, it often happens. You know, with with these cards and stuff, they're about a quarter of an inch too <laughs> too big to get back in the box. So, you have to keep them separately. So, that's what I will do. <clears throat> Right, now this is um, Akai Katana. Um, this was a um, Neo Geo game, I believe. You can buy the um, you can buy the English version or the UK version off of Amazon. But actually I got, I got the Japanese version cheaper than, uh, than I could have got the... Um, the Western version, so I was quite pleased with that. Um, it's um, unlike most of the others. It's um, it's a horizontal scroller. And from what I've saw, I mean, I have I have played it before. Actually, it's quite good. And inside, just the artwork. This is the same artwork you get on the two folders that I showed you <coughs> last time that you get for a pre-order bonus. Okay, 
So that's Nekai Katana. Right. That's another US edition. Crisis Wing Elite. You can buy. Uh, this is from a company called uh, Bazaar Bazaar, I believe. And um, there's two editions of this you can buy. One's a fiver cheaper. This is the Elite Edition, and this one I'll be able to show you better um, when I've actually unboxed it. Um, when I unbox it. Yeah, it's got um, got it all off. It's got a silverish tint to it, as you can see there. See it better on that actually. And that's the elite edition. Um, I think it's called the elite edition because it's a it's a more limited edition, and it's um, strangely enough, it's a print run of forty eighty four thousand and eighty, which <laughs> seems a rather um, odd number well, that's number 10 15 as you can see there um i think i have a digital version of this on ps5 so i have played it um let's see artwork on the inside and you get so look see um sure there's no codes now that's your that's your certificate certificate of authenticity and this is called crisis wing confidential which just gives you some some info about the game with a bit of artwork thrown in yeah always nice to as I say to have those little little booklets because of course you don't get you don't get booklets with um, PS4 or PS5 or, or any of the other um, Xbox. You know, they just stopped getting uh, booklets out, instruction manuals. Right, um, right now that's the takes care of the Switch stuff. Um, right, this is um, it's another John special. Um, that's another M2 shot triggers. I've actually I've had my eye on this for a while, and uh, John managed to get it for me. Katsui Destiny Edition. I haven't got a list, but it's actually Destiny. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's it. Uh, I'm actually getting more into PS4 shooters now because there are a few quality ones around. Um, you know, I still concentrate on um, on Switch, but if I get a chance to buy a nice one like that, um, it's not a particularly cheap game to get your hands on. So, oh, that's of course a that's a cave game, of course. Um, and then this was the other one I bought from PlayAsia. This is the second last shot triggers that I needed. Rigger. Again, it's 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 quite expensive on online, but uh, a play Asia it was quite reasonable. I forget how much, but it didn't break the bank anyway. Let's put it that way. Let me just get it sliced a bit better than that. I'll be able to show it to you. This was uh, this was a Saturn game, and I, I I don't have it. So I've got quite a lot of um, Sega Saturn shooters, but this is one that's always been a bit um, 
shall we say, on the expensive side. <clears throat> so not one of the ex more, not one of the most expensive, but out of my uh, my reach. There's nothing particularly interesting on the inside of these PS4 games. Just the disc. But uh, yeah, that's another nice addition to the M2 Shot Trigger series. Right, and that folks is, um, is all I have for you today. It's not a bad little batch. Um, so I, I'm not expecting to have too many for a, a little while now so it might be a few weeks before I see all you shmup fans again but I hope you enjoyed this one um, thank you for watching uh, the ones that I've done and commenting <coughs> I, like, I like more comments you know I like, I like uh, a bit of interaction in the comment section and uh, I will be back very shortly bye bye now